Life is full of surprises and challenges, but it's also full of love and happiness. We are happy to present you the true colors of life. Take a moment and look at these free life stories that we hope will inspire you in your own life. Many are sure that love should be the main pursuit in life. So let's start our program with the story of romance. Endless, true and full of memories. This is my great-grandmother and the story of her life. She was born right before World War II in our small but strong-hearted country, Lithuania. 1951. At that time, she was 15 years old, living with her family. Pasaki, pasaki, Lithuania is under Soviet Union occupation and Stalin gives orders to report everyone who could be a threat to Soviet Union authoritarian regime. She was on that list. No warning, nothing. She was forcefully sent alone, leaving her family and friends to the lands of unknown. Siberia. It was a rough month traveling on overcrowded freight train with unhuman conditions. Many didn't make it. Fortunately, she survived and started her new life in Krasnoyarsk. In a small town, after hard work, people used to gather together and dance. That's when she met my great-grandfather, her loving husband, Patras. He was also deported from Lithuania. Actually, every girl there envied her that she got the most attractive men there. After a few years living there, working hard in the farm and for each other, they decided to continue their lives together and got married. Some time had passed and they had their firstborn son there. From the story she tell me, I believe, her life was always full of love, irony and humor. She knew that good days will come. Ten years in Siberia. No living conditions, no human rights. But a miracle happened and Soviet Union collapsed. Having this amazing opportunity, they returned to their motherland Lithuania. There they had two more children and worked hard to raise their family. And a bit later, they had a bunch of grandchildren and great-grandchildren. My great-grandparents love to each other is an example for me. They always supported, helped and loved each other. Unfortunately, but after 67 years in the marriage, my great-grandfather passed away. However, he will always live in my great-grandmother's heart and memories. For me, her story shows how strong love can be and how much you can accomplish with it. Today, I can only appreciate the moments I spend with her, sitting next to her and listening to the story of her life. Love is important, but what is more important is to fight for what you love the most. In Second World War, if you were a member of the RAF's Bomber Command, your chances of survival were only 51%. In any mission, you knew you may never return home to those you loved. What you are about to watch is a story of just one daring bombing sort undertaken by members of 578 Squadron. That night led to many losing their lives but they are not forgotten. Terminate April 1944. That's after preliminary training at uh, the OTU and uh, heavy 
by my command aircon I joined it was April 44 and I carried on to my last stop on the 24th of December 44. The man holding the stick aloft is my great granddad Flight Sergeant Gordon Ronald Albert King, known as Nosmo to his crew. When he returned from a mission in July 1944, he described what happened in his logbook. His words are spoken by an actor. Over the target, our starboard end outer engine caught fire. Vines! Feather starboard outer engine. The pilot, by this time, was commencing diving turns to get out of the searchlights. The pilot had ordered standby to abandon the aircraft. Standby to abandon the aircraft. A standard practice when an engine is on fire. The navigator had passed the parachutes out and was endeavouring to open the escape hatch. I left the co-pilot's seat and went down to help him. The July 20th Bottrop raid had such an impact on my great granddad that after the war he had this painting by David Beaver commissioned to commemorate the mission. The pilot now had the aircraft under control with the fire out and then levelled the aircraft out. This manoeuvre meant we all experienced a considerable amount of g-force so the bomb aimer, navigator and I fell on the floor and could do nothing. We were lucky but many others were lost on 578 squadron that night. 26 aircraft detached for the operation, 6 lost with the death of 36 air crew. That was a truly staring story. This next one tells an incredible journey of a couple who took a chance and moved far away from home in the search of their new life and new colors. Conocí a Luis en el año de 1992 y en el año de 1995 nos casamos. En 1996 nació mi primer hijo David y en 1997 decidí venir al, a UK debido a un asunto de caos político en mi país. No fue fácil el estar en este país ya que era una cultura como un idioma diferente. Entonces tuvimos que ir al college para poder aprender el lenguaje y poder tener un mejor estilo de vida. Eh, recuerdo que en el año de 2002 alguien eh, nos denunció y en ese tiempo todavía no teníamos la residencia. Tuvimos que enfrentar muchos problemas y tal vez eh, debido a eso, a, tal vez al estrés, tuve que atravesar un tiempo eh, de enfermedad. También tuve que atravesar un, un accidente de tránsito. La 
haber visto a mi esposo tirado en una cama porque no podía levantarse, no podía caminar, no podía eh, sostener su balance cuando se paraba, fue para mí un tiempo muy angustiante. A principios del 2004, recuerdo que una patrulla de migración llegó a, a donde yo trabajaba buscando a otra persona y, se, y me encontraron a mí. Recuerdo que me arrestaron y me llevaron a, a una estación de, de policía primero. En ese momento yo ya tenía mis otros hijos. Yo sentía que podía tener problemas y ser deportado en cualquier momento y también eso me causaba mucha preocupación. El gobierno del Reino Unido hizo una ley en la cual daba el privilegio a las familias de poder ser residentes en este país y nos dieron la residencia en, posteriormente en el año 2004. Estoy muy agradecida con este país que nos abrió las puertas, que nos dio una oportunidad y estoy sobre todo agradecida con Dios ya que él ha sido el que nos ha ayudado en toda la travesía en este, en este tiempo en el Reino Unido. Creo que Después de todo lo que hemos pasado, sí, valió la pena. ¿Qué más puedo decir? Eh, aquí he obtenido lo que, lo que vine buscando. Primero, la paz con Dios, la paz de mi familia. Y puedo ver ahora a mis hijos cumpliendo ese sueño que yo buscaba al principio. Thank you all for watching. We hope these family stories showed you that life is not just black and white. One day it can be colorful, bright and shiny, but the next day it can be cold and dark. But this is what makes our life interesting, right? All the wars we have to win, all the challenges we have to beat, and of course, all the love we have to find. These are the true colors of life.